So I know a lot of people think, hey, you know what, uh, uh, you, you folks at Wolfpack, you know, you're, you're trying to get a constitutional amendment and get money out of politics. <laughs> That's not going to Go get out of here. Now, of course, they don't want us to mobilize. They want us to stay discouraged because the one thing that could defeat them is if we were united and if we pushed hard. Well, it turns out, of course, there are, are Wolfpack resolutions to pull, push for a constitutional convention to get that amendment. Uh, in 10 different states, backed by over 50 legislators all across the country. Now, they're state legislators, okay? The national guys are totally corrupt, but at the state level, it can work. And right now, in Maryland, it's going really well, actually. There's a HJ7 proposed by Jamie Raskin, who's a great state legislator, and that is to call for a convention to get money out of politics. Awesome. Perfect, right? And, of course, Wolfpack supports that. And right now, the Maryland House Rules Committee is considering that. The problem was there was this major snowstorm, so it appeared that a lot of people couldn't show up in Maryland on the day of the hearing. Did Wolfpack show up anyway? You betcha. And the guy who showed up to testify for us is just a resident of Maryland who's working hard to make sure he can do his part. His name is uh, Chaban Amdi. The problem is, not only was there a massive snowstorm, the day before the testimony, he broke his jaw. So obviously he couldn't testify. Wrong. He testified anyway. Here's his testimony. I apologize if I'm difficult to understand. I'm speaking with a broken jaw. Uh, I've always had a keen interest in politics and have cared a great deal about a variety of issues that have often had widespread public support. For that reason, the actions and inactions of Congress have perplexed and disappointed me when they've ignored those issues until I realized that the problem is that our federal level politicians are frequently more influenced by those who finance them than by the people they were elected into office to represent. That is why I decided to join Wolfpack, which is currently working in over 40 states and has at least 10 resolutions similar to HJ7 live in other state legislatures. We have, we have over 10,000 people signed up as volunteers and tens of thousands more who have signed up in support of the change we are seeking. The reason so many follow what we are doing is because we are connected to the Young Turks, which is the largest online news show in the world. They have over 1 million subscribers and over 1 billion views on YouTube, which is up there with celebrities like Kid President and OK Go. There are only 100 people in the entire world that have that kind of audience on YouTube. Let me put it this way. There are more progressive people watching Jank Uger and the Young Turks every month on YouTube than there are conservatives listening to Rush Limbaugh on the radio. The Young Turks are using this audience to solve what they see as the biggest problem facing our country, money in politics and corruption in Washington, D.C. We can do this. We can solve this problem. We can set the example right here in the state of Maryland and give people around the country hope that their voices may be heard once again. I urge you all to support HJ7 for the good of our democracy. Look, I, of course I love Chabon and what he said there. And not just because of, he had good praise for us, bless your heart, brother, <laughs> okay? But because he was indomitable. The snow is not going to stop him. A broken jaw is not going to stop him. Nothing's going to stop him. He's not a lobbyist. He doesn't get paid for this. Before I saw the video, I'd never heard of him. I, I have to be honest, I didn't know he was going to testify that day. I haven't met him. But that's what we do. We set up an organization and we say, if you believe in this, and you're real citizens and who actually want to make change in this country, you join us. And look at that. He's testifying in front of a committee, and that bill has a very good chance of passing in Maryland. Because there's a lot of people like Chabon working in Maryland, calling all their legislators and saying, you got to do this for us. And when they hear from him, they say, hey, you know what? These people aren't a little excited about this. Look at what they're willing to go through to make sure that they get this change. And it's obvious they're not professional lobbyists. They're real citizens. State leaders across the country for us, literally veterans, farmers, teachers. We've got a great teacher in California who's an awesome state leader who's helping train other state leaders. She was just tired of the money in politics dominating our elections and ruining our democracy. We can get it back through the state level through great actions like this. So if you live in Maryland, definitely join us, wolf-pack.com. Get that passed in Maryland. That would be awesome. It, but in all these states, we need volunteers. We need members. We need people to, at the very least, sign the petition. That's, if he can go and testify in the middle of a snowstorm with a broken jaw, you can at least sign the petition, brother. So come join us, man, because together, they can't stop us.